Konnichiwa and welcome everybody back to the yearly end of the year video of my collection. And before I start, first off, I'm filming this with my mobile phone in one clip because, well, the camera is packed and everything. I'm going to my parents over Christmas and I was a little bit late on recording this. But I felt like I had to do it because I have a few things to bring up as well. So before I start... Most of you have probably heard about this stuff about COPPA, which is risking, since I have to label my videos as for kids, I can't really get away from that since it's uh, figures and toys. So I need to just point out that there is a risk that I will not return after New Year's if the uh, YouTube settings is as they are rumored to be or said to be unless it changes no one will be able to see notations and from the subscriptions and stuff like that from my channel if the worst happens because I can't risk putting that as not for kids and getting a huge fee on me or something like that and a lot of you might be familiar about the issues I'm not a YouTuber that earn my income on YouTube my videos do not make any money so I might be safe anyway, but we will see. If you can't even see my notations on the videos for a subscription after New Year's, there is no point in continuing. I might just quit it. But if it works as normal though, I will return as normal. So it's a little bit uneasiness over this. But you know, it is. I can't do much about it for now. It's a little bit sad. But I do hope that I continue as normal. I have a lot of projects though, so I will not be as active. Not that I've been super active anyway, but you get my point. I will review like the most interesting stuff, like PVC figures, uh, highlights out of the Figma collection and things like that. And maybe, yeah, I promise I will review the Beasts of the Mesozoic uh, Ceratopsian series. That's a promise. But... Other than that, it will be a little bit spread out. Figures that I feel deserves a review. Not everything that's repeating itself, like not every new dinosaur Mattel are releasing, but more like when they do something new and fresh, like they did with the Brachiosaurus, for example. Like that. So right, let's get started. I have rearranged the PVC figure shelves a little bit. And I put the super colossal blue and T-Rex on top. And I think that's a quite nice display. I have a recorded review for Blue, but I haven't had the time to finish editing it and stuff like that. So if I continue next year, you will see Super Colossal Blue as well. As well as the Indominus Rex. And the figures here are the ones I already have. There's not much new here. I have rearranged the um, figures a little bit. So now all the Shana figures are on one shelf and like that. All the Type Moon stuff there. Some different things like there. And here is some stuff. The uh, Chronicle Collectibles Consignatus and also these things, this jaw here, that's a jaw mold. The real one that they use to create male Velociraptor lower jaws in JP3. Like the inside, the palette of the mouth. And this one I had a certificate for it, it's legit, but I have it in another room. And these are mystery claws, also from Stan Winston Studios. Those were not used in the film as far as I know. They look a little bit experimental, but they are the real thing. They were came from a prop auction. From first JP movie. I guess they are concept claws that was never used. And here is a Stan Winston beak from a baby Triceratops. One of the casts. This one is not painted, but it's one of the casts they made for the baby trike that was used in The Lost World that was originally intended for Jurassic Park but used in The Lost World. And here is all the Funko Pop stuff and small Godzillas. And these are new. These are Fate Grand Order Duel. 
I might review those next year if, yeah, you know, if I can even continue, I will review those as well. Because they are really nice. The details are very nice for the size. I mean, they are even more clean and well made than price figures, and they are a lot smaller. Also, for the Beast of Mesoic, I have these build a raptor sets, which are neat. My plan is to create an adult Tronon, combine, combining the uh, different parts from the two sets. I have the uh, the parts assembled already, and I have a recorded review on them that I will finish after I paint up my finished Trodon, I will complete the review. So, if there are any reviews next, re next year, I will show it. And I have the environmental set, I haven't reviewed that one, but I, I will review one or two of the environmental sets next year as well. But I opened this up because I wanted to assemble the adult Trodon, so I had to compare them and stuff. And in here are all the Mattel toys. Yeah, my bastard friend gave me this. <laughs> the ugly Hasbro T-Rex as a Christmas gift. And <laughs> damn him. But it doesn't really go well gravity. And he also gave me this, which I actually is a little bit of a redemption from this. And there's the Mosasaurus. And inside is all the other toys like the Quetzal Quetzalus, and here you see one of my favorites, the Kenner Utah Raptor, and all the other toys. I reviewed most of them, but not the Kenner ones. But here is like the Dilophosaurus. I'm not bringing out all of those. And there is the Figma shelves. They haven't changed much. But I really need to catch up on some fate figmas I have missed out the release on. The problem is that figma have went up in price so much since since the past. And here are the glass cabinets. There have happened some change here. I need to arrange some figures at the bottom, it looks so empty. But there's the Saber Lily figures that I got recently. I uploaded those reviews just the last week before Christmas now. And there's the Blackrock Shooters, and I actually moved my Hot Toys Predator into one of those. And there's the Ishtar figure, and here's some arrangement with the Beast of the Mesozoic Raptors. Right now there's the Raptor series, the Fossil series skeleton with the Mongoliensis Raptors right there. And on the bottom is some dinosaur skulls. And some trilobite fossils I found myself when I was at a place that, well, have fossils here in Sweden. And an uh, Overraptor figure. And here's an arrangement with the Troceraptor and the Dromaeosaurus and the Juvenile Trodon. But I'm going to replace the Troceraptor on this shelf with the Adult Trodon later, defending the Juvenile from the Dromaeosaurus. And here we have a, uh, I haven't reviewed that one, but that's the Sornet Lestis Langstoni. And there's the Pyraptor and Balor. And also some real fossils right here. There's a vertebrae from a Plesiosaurus. There's a Trilobite, some shark teeth. And a Raptor teeth and a Spinosaurus teeth. I really love the Spinosaurus teeth. And there's an Ammonite and also a skull of a Coelophysis. The skull is not a real fossil, but it is a cast out of one. It's the skull found in Ghost Ranch. And up here is two of the dolls. There is the, it's the A-Zone 1 to 3 dolls, Haruhi and Saber. And there is the, my good old Kenner T-Rex from the childhood, as well as a Buck T-Rex. I didn't have that as a kid, but I bought it later. And here is a display with the Brachiosaurus and Dr. Grant and yeah, the legacy figures and the Brachiosaurus. And here at the TV I've put my Dolphy Dream dolls, my custom Shana, Kurumi and also Ranko Kansaki 
and Ray Muhakere. And here are A-Zone model kits that I painted up. One is painted for JP Free color and one is painted for the Lost World Raptor color. And that's for concept maquettes for a fan film I'm working on. But it's still nice display models. And those are those are two puppets I made for stop motion that was back in the days when I started animation. This is my first movies. So yeah. I made display bases for them, so I think that's a little bit of a cool thing. And also here is the DVD shelf where I have like the alien and predator stuff, Freddy and Jason, some aliens and Rebo Raptor with all the Jurassic DVDs and Blu-rays and VHS. And up there are all the Godzilla stuff. So yeah, that was a little bit more quick than usual for showing off the collection. I like to keep this video a little bit shorter than usual because I usually drag it out a lot. So let's hope that Coppa does not ruin the future of this channel. And if you don't know what Coppa is, it's a new ro some sort of law about collecting information on kids browsing YouTube and wh whatever it was. So look look for it. On, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that are uh, are active within the matter, One, like the Gaming Beaver and Clayton and and review and uh, YouTubers like those that earn their living on YouTube. They are really active in this subject, so look for their videos about it if you want to be more learn more. Because it's I don't know the details that well. I've just watched the video, so I'm not going to talk more about it here. But I hope that I'm able to return, and if not, it has been a long and w nice time with you guys. Even if my channel isn't that active, the few likes and comments I get are really appreciated. And I like sharing my thoughts on toys and figures. So I've enjoyed my time reviewing, and I hope I will return next year. I really hope so. Because there are a lot of nice things I want to review. But apart from the depressing part, it'll be a nice year with some new stuff like the Beast of the Mosasoic Raptors. Well, they aren't exactly new, but for me they were new. And the Ceratopsian series is upcoming and a lot of nice dinosaur toys. And also some new PVC figures like Sable Lily. So, until next year, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I hope to see you next year. Sayonara!